it wouldn't be a Friday at Fantasy Games without uh, some sort of new release. So let's take a look, see, a. Eh? So uh, obviously the first thing we've got is this glorious little Aether War box that everybody has been diligently waiting for, and which I will cruelly make you wait just a little bit longer for. <laughs> uh, we've just got some basic uh, stuff to get out of the way. Obviously, since the Aether War box is out, we've got the new Battle Tomes. First up on the list is the Zinch Battle Tome, desperately needed as um, if my sources are to be believed. You know how it goes. Let's just put that up on the other camera there. Take a look, see at that. Ooh, isn't it pretty? Um, I haven't gotten a chance to look at it, uh, but I can guarantee you that you're going to be seeing a thousand points or bust on uh, our good buddy Zinch uh, very soon. At least as soon as the uh, <laughs> as soon as the fresh coat of paint kind of wears off. Um, and then, as the other half of the box, obviously, we've got. Caradron Overlords, also desperately needed. So, just gonna give that an old swapsies outsies and take a look at that. Oh, isn't he pretty? That big old, big old dwarfy man with the gun. Kevin, I know you're salivating right now, but, you know, hold your horses. And, of course, uh, whenever we have new Battle Tomes, we get new War Scroll cards. Uh, one of them is a darn sight thicker than the other. Go figure. So, here's the Zinch one. And here's the Caradron one. Oh, aren't they so pretty? Yes, they are. And all these are coming out of the usual price points, of course, because of course they are. So, uh, we've got our Disciples of Zinch dice, which are multicolored and multifaceted and multi-cool. So, take a look-see at that. And finally, before we get to the meat of the show, huh, I hope you learned how to paint fire, because... Goodness knows, GW thinks that you should have by now. These are the Tome of Eyes, the Demonic Simulacrum, and the Burning Sigil of Zinch. Rules included. Get them while they're hot. Alright, so I'm just going to let you savor it. Take it in a little bit. Let's look at that big box there. Oh yeah, Aether War. Aether War. I guess it's Aether War. I, the weird, <laughs> that stupid American thing that I do where I want to pronounce all the letters in a word. And <laughs> but, uh, Ether War, Ether War, Aether War, whatever. It's another fight between two armies that desperately needed it. So, uh, we're just going to get on into this bad boy real quick. Bip. Hey, look, everybody, I finally learned how to open boxes. <laughs> All right, so it's got the Aether War book in it. Uh, it's got the core rules in it. Hey, there's a there's value in and of itself, especially if you're just starting out the game. Though, if you're this interested in it, you're probably not anywhere sort of new to uh, the old Warhams. Gotta do something about those weird noises. But uh, okay, so the box set contains. 18 Citadel Miniatures, 1 Magister of Zinch on Disc, 3 Zangor Enlightened, 3 Zangor Skyfires, and 3 Screamers of Zinch. On the Caradron side, we have the Endron Master with a dirigible suit. I love this crap, guys. Uh, 3 Endron Riggers, 3 Sky Wardens, and 1 uh, Grunstocked Gun Hauler. It's a big boat. It's a sky boat. It's a skyboat, and that's cool. Anyway. Um, now, to my knowledge, I'm not very knowledgeable about Caradron, to be perfectly honest, but uh, judging by the uh, dates on the sprues, this is the new one. Uh, this would be the Endron Rigger with the dirigible suit. I'm just going to plunk that down. Look how pretty it is. Uh, and judging by the size of this sprue and the date on it, ooh, 2011. Okay, so it's not that old. Uh, here's the Screamers. Rask. Um, 
This is 2019. I'm guessing this is, uh, yeah, this would probably be the Magister uh, on account of it being all swirly and cool. Like a wiggle. Uh, I think if you're a Caradron player, you're probably pretty familiar with it. I wonder if I could uh, scavenge these shoulder. I wonder if I could scavenge these ball parts on the that make up the balloon part. I wonder if I could put those on a knight or something. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, if you're a Caradron player, you're probably fairly used to this uh, gun hauler. But uh, there it is in all its beauty. 2017. So these are fairly new. Oh, these are your uh, engine riggers. Engine riggers and sky wardens. They're, uh, I think they come on the same, they must come on the same screw, sprue because it's just the same. Isn't it? Yeah, they come on the same sprue. And then we've got, woo. Enlightened. Pokey, stabby boys, right? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know much about demons, but there's your Sky Warden, or your uh, Skyfires, and your Enlightened. Uh, I'm led to believe that the Enlightened are pretty ding dang strong. Ooh, this is important. This is the. Uh, uh, the thing of what holds up the hauler, I believe. Yeah, this is a nice fat flying base for you. And of course, some wall art. Uh, isn't it pretty? I'm just going to set this down while I get through the rest of this nonsense. Uh, no dice for you, but that's fine. I'm trying to think of what this would look like if they did a 40k version of it, and then, honestly, I don't know what it would be. <laughs> Uh. Alrighty, well, there's your Aether War handbook, all your pitched battle profiles and what have you. All of which are available in the other books, by the way. Um, and you get your own they have their own war scrolls in here uh, for use in the proper game as well bunch of battle plans good 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 uh, I couldn't say up or down whether or not this is new art or not but it's all very pretty so <laughs> feast your eyes and you know the usual the fluff the fluff. Right, so that's that. And then uh, you're probably fairly familiar with these. But, uh, you know, there's just little rule, rule markers, can't retreat, strategic acumen, magnetic field, etc., etc. It's the name of the game. Core rules. Ether War, Learn to Build, and all these War Scrolls, little War Cards here, yep, <laughs> yep, so yep, you got uh, Sky Warden, ooh, uh, so, fun story, apparently Sky Wardens are big enough to get a fold out card. Um, the engine master also has the fold out card because he's that cool. Hmm. Engine riggers. Oh, <laughs> man, these guys are uh, extra cool. So they all have their extra, uh, extra long war scrolls here because they just matter that much. Likewise with the gun hauler, with that many guns, you got to make sure that everybody knows exactly what you're packing. <clears throat> the Magister also has a fold out. 
on account of being a mage. Ooh, he's nasty. No. He's a mean jerk. <laughs> Zangor Enlightened also get a fold-out card, though, for reasons I have yet to understand. On account of they only take up a little bit of space on the one card. I guess if they're just printing them all, Screamers and Skyfires are likely mostly unchanged from the uh, book, so they don't get their cool extra special thing. But, uh, everybody has hidden agendas, which come in these little cards. And, uh, well... For the sake of not spoiling anything, I'm going to just let you salivate over what those might be. Hidden agendas are going to play into um, the proper Aether War game itself. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm sure they'll have their, uh, I'll, I'm sure they'll have their uses in the proper game too once they get around to it. But yeah, that's Aether War. Who's excited? I know there are a lot of people out there who have been champing at the bit for this, so I'm just gonna put this back in here. Alright, Tetris skills don't fail me now. Oh, and let's put this uh, back here. And that's Aether War. Available this Saturday at Fantasy Games. Come get your copy. You know you need it.